In Ukraine, civilians are reporting that armed soldiers are going door to door in parts of the country under Russian occupation to collect votes in so-called referendums on joining Russia. Western nations have called the votes a sham process and a precursor to annexation. Well, with me now on set to discuss the latest is our correspondent, Sasha Bakulina. Uh, Sasha, we've heard some disturbing reports coming out over the course of the weekend about how these so-called referendums are being carried out. What more can you tell us? Well, in all the stories that we have heard over these past few days is that there's, whatever is happening, there is always accompanied by heavily armed soldiers in all those four regions. In some cases, uh, some witnesses in Erhodar, this is the Parisia region, said that you have to answer verbally and the soldier marks the answer on the shit and keeps it. So this is the process that we are talking about here. Meanwhile, uh, Russian news agency RIA Novosti uh, is carrying some turnout figures already for the so-called referendum, saying that the turnout has been sufficient uh, for the proxy Russian authorities to declare them legitimate, saying that it's about 77% in Donetsk region. Now, according to the Ukrainian officials, the head of Donetsk region, more than two-thirds of the whole population have left the region of Donetsk because of the fighting and also, of course, because we are heading towards winter and the authorities have been calling on people to evacuate because there will be no heating in the region. So what about this 77% about the people who are still left there, those who could not have evacuated? This is the situation. Uh, we've also been seeing reports of more and more men being drafted from Russia as part of Putin's announced mobilization. Um, do we know whether they are reaching the country yet? What is happening on the ground once they get to Ukraine? There's some bits of information that starts appearing from, uh, from Russia, actually from the families of some of those conscripts and soldiers that are saying that they will not be going through the weeks of training that they will be rather a few days mostly so we're talking that how efficient and how prepared and how trained these soldiers will be uh, at the same time ukrainian authorities have also trying to do what they can now it's been a couple of days now that president Zelensky, every day in his evening address is doing part of that address in russian and also with official calls for any russian conscripts that are entering ukraine now to surrender. What's happening here is that there are phone numbers that are distributed. There are also uh, like the cards with some QR codes that could be scanned and then they're asking for Russian soldiers who do not want to fight but who, ha who are being sent now to Ukraine to surrender. And what Ukrainian authorities are promising them is that they will not be sent to Russia if they don't want to do so as per the Geneva Convention. Well, fascinating insights there from our correspondent Sasha Bakulina. Sasha, thank you.